In the last two episodes, I have introduced you to the basics of XML and XML schema definition. By now, we know what XML well-formedness stands for and what uh, XML validation is. We have also worked on a hands-on example uh, to come up with a XSD schema file and we validated our XML against that schema file. The topic for today is XML namespaces, uh, which is a tiny topic but at a powerful one. So let's get started by looking at an example. Going back to our famous um, order example, the only difference you would notice here uh, within the XML snippet I have here is this attribute on the root element which is order. XML NS stands for XML namespace and this URL here uniquely identifies all the elements within my XML document. So a namespace basically allows you or your application to uniquely identify elements within an XML document. Uh, before I get into further details, just to give you an example, say your application processes orders both from Amazon and eBay. So you get XML both from Amazon and also eBay. Um, now, how, how does your application differentiate it? Like how does it know whether the XML is coming from Amazon or whether it's coming from eBay? It's by looking at the namespace. So the reason we need to differentiate it is Amazon might be using different elements within their order and eBay might be using different elements. What I mean by that is Amazon by, might be using order number to represent um, or to uniquely identify an order whereas eBay might be using order ID. Um, it, it depends on how they write their schema or come up with their schema. So if you look at it, all namespace uh, has is a unique URL. So that allows, um, that's a unique value. So every domain or every company has its own URL and that's the value which we should be using uh, to uniquely identify all the elements of our XML document uh, for which we write the schema. So within your XML document, you can refer to uh, or you can have elements from various schema files. So you can, you can build one XML document which has orders both from eBay as well as Amazon. So in those cases, uh, we use prefixes so that we need not um, prefix the namespace in front of every element. So we say this is the prefix for Amazon and then we can use uh, the prefix which we declare here instead of having the whole namespace. Similarly, um, we can declare another namespace saying xmlns colon ebay and then we can start using ebay colon order ebay colon order id in our xml document. So a prefix is like a shortcut for uh, the namespace you declare and at runtime the parsers will automatically replace the prefixes with the namespace which you declare on the top. So it's that simple. Basically you define what the namespace should be for your XML document on the top and then when you um, write your elements or when you um, declare your attributes you just prefix it using the namespace mapping which you did on the top. Um, you can also uh, assert uh, XML namespaces, uh, the target namespaces that your XML document should follow in your schema file. And this is exactly how you do it. If you remember from the previous session, every schema, XML schema document starts with uh, the schema element. So within that root element of XML schema, we say target namespace. So what the target namespace for any XML document that's going to comply with this schema will be. So in my case, I'm saying it's baratsblog.com and any XML document that follows this um, XSD file will use um, this as their namespace. If you are coming from a Java or .NET background, namespaces are nothing but packages in Java and namespaces in C Sharp. We'll be doing uh, SACs and DOM parsers at a later point in time. We'll also be doing XSL style sheets and we'll uh, work on some examples, XSLT examples. The next session will be on web services. It will be a web services for every one session where I'll be discussing, giving you a quick overview of the various components or technologies that fall under web services stack. We'll be discussing about various web service standards. So don't miss it. You can't miss it. Um, thanks for watching. Keep sharing and learning.